Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the red miscellaneous goods deck from Tyler Deeb. Miscellaneous Goods, what is it? Uh, miscellaneous Goods is a company uh, that was started first by Tyler Deeb. He originally released a Kickstarter for uh, his own brand deck of cards. And so since that, it was very successful. Since then, he has gone on to make five colors. I believe there's five colors altogether of decks uh, that you can get. Um, he has now um, since gone on to do second edition release decks. He's done a hard case, he's done a wallet, and he's done a flask. And, and you can find all of those at his website. Originally, the first Miscellaneous Goods deck was designed from P. Dale Design, and I'm sure they worked in conjunction with Tyler Deeb. Um, the Miscellaneous Goods deck is a completely redesigned deck of playing cards. The artwork for the decks has been redone from the tuck case to every single symbol, to every ace, even the typography used on the cards. This deck, the one we're gonna look at today, the red deck, is done on a red uh, matte paper with a gold foil and a gold emboss. Um, originally, when he launched the Kickstarter, uh, he had very simple, very streamlined um, hopes for this, but then he received so much money, he decided to add in the embossing and the foil work. He wanted to, to give as much back to his fan base to make a really good quality deck. So the top up here says miscellaneous goods company and then down here at the bottom it says quality playing cards. Um, this is all um, embossed and it's done in foil. You can see that these are just the four um, different suits, right? And this is also the back design of the cards. This side says miscellaneous goods made in the USA. This side says miscellaneous goods here to stay. And then the back of the tech case has a lot going on. You can really see that it says miscellaneous goods company right there. That's the thing that stands out the most. And, and then down here at the bottom they have their motto which is here today, done today. And then up here at the top, it says third edition quality playing cards. And then you have all the um, pips from the suits right here. But one thing that's kind of hard to see is that there's an embossed second image. And so if you rotate the tuck case, you'll, you'll see a raised image that actually says, do nothing out of ambition. That's actually a Bible verse, it's Philippians 2.3. The tuck flap simply has some ornamentation there and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on the casino grade stock. This is a B grade stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click a link below in the description. A lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Can't really tell you how they handle. Um, cards handle differently depending on the user and um, how well you take care of your cards. Uh, I can tell you how thick they are though. Once these cards come out of the box, they are a casino grade stock, so they are gonna be on the thicker side. Um, they're gonna be the same thickness as the crown decks, so if you have any of those, or maybe uh, the smoke and mirrors decks, they're about that same thickness. White lions, same thickness as those as well. So the back design is all done in gold for the red deck, and you can see it has a nice thick white border as well. Um, and again, it's that repeated design that you saw on the front of the tuck case of the four separate pips um, all encased in a circle, and it does say miscellaneous goods at the top. The thing you will notice then about this back design is it is a one-way back design. One way means if you flip it upside down, it now looks different. So people who are really um, concerned about how their cards shuffle and stay together, um, they might be a little irritated with cards going one way and then the other. <laughs> with this deck, you will get a miscellaneous goods ad card, which is pretty much a copy of the back of the tuck case. And you will also get a bonus extra card that you can use just in case you lost a card. Um, a long time ago, decks used to actually come um, with these blank cards so that if you lost a card, um, you could fill it in with a Sharpie marker and then that card would become the card you lost. Nowadays, people just buy a new deck of cards. Um, but you can see all the little squares, you would just fill it in. So you just say this is the seven of hearts and you would put a seven of hearts and then you'd fill in all the hearts. Uh, the words there in the center are really funny. It says you lost a card, you either have kids or you're absent minded, either way fill in the blanks. With this deck, you'll get two original, very beautiful jokers. Um, you can see that one card, uh, the indices in the corners are gold circles and the other one, they're black and white. Like I said before, the pips and indice cards have been completely redrawn. Um, one of the cool things about this deck is that in the corners, um, not only do you have the indices uh, done in a font, but you also have little hash marks that if you held the card sideways, uh, you could read the numeric that way as well. One thing I like about this deck, all the aces are large and exploded. All the aces have been given um, attention. They have detail to them. The Ace of Hearts has an arrow puncturing the heart and then a banner wrapped around the heart. The banner says, love is watching someone die and watching someone die is hard. 
The Ace of Clubs says you're going to die and all that you own will one day vanish. Deal with it. The Ace of Diamonds has a sword piercing it and then a snake wrapped around it. And the Ace of Spades is probably the least ornamental and it simply has an all-seeing eye there in the center. The court cards all appear to be pen and ink drawings that are completely devoid of color. Um, they take up a lot of negative space and they are very beautiful and very attractive. So that is it for my review of the Miscellaneous Goods deck from Tyler Deeb and Miscellaneous Goods Company. I want to thank Rare Playing Cards for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do this review for you. And if you'd like to purchase yours, you can find it in the link below at rareplayingcards.com. Thanks. Bye.